almost said Steve's wife for some reason. I'm Melissa. <laughs> Steve's <laughs> wife. Steve's, <laughs> Steve's wife. <laughs> I'm feeling super attracted to myself right now. This is awful. And you're watching. <laughs> well, the guys already said this is punishment for All right, you're watching being a part of the podcast. The guitar buying, selling, trading, fixing, modding, breaking, reviewing podcast. But we probably won't talk gonna, about any of it. Yeah, we're not going to talk about any of that. So We just want to apologize in advance for mm-hmm. what's about to happen to you people. <laughs> All right, so... So this might be the best show that they've ever done. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. It'll be up there. Yeah. This will it'll be one for the books. So. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Are you feeling a so little fresh. hot? I'm feeling a little hot. A little hot. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys. Yeah. So sort of planned, but not completely. Um, I've, I was informed semi recently by Ryan that this company <laughs> is very, first of all no more and also very naughty before they were no more and um this is the most comfortable shirt i own and i'll yeah. never get rid of it mm-hmm. i wear it all the time i didn't know you had one yeah yeah we're twins okay twinning <laughs> i'm really curious if steve gets does he get a lot of packages to the house Yes. Okay. Ryan does too, like every day, a million packages. And I am definitely the one who decides what happens to the shirts that Mm. he gets. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely, oh, this is really soft, honey. This is mine now. Yeah. It's a great mom shirt. Yeah. So sleep shirt, mom shirt, babies throw up all over it shirt. Mm -hmm. And uh, (laughs) yeah, still the favorite. So. Mm. That's that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I apparently have nothing to say. That's fine. No worries. This beard is like, I don't know how you guys do this. These things are itchy. Dude, okay, I trimmed this mm-hmm. in the bathroom, like as best I could. I, could, I wanted to make it <laughs> blonde, like I had kind of mentioned before. That's It just wasn't going to happen because it's polyester and I'm not going through the trouble of painting it. So, and... It matches my hair anyway, and Ryan says I look like Charles Manson. Yeah, yeah, you got so, that vibe going on a little bit. It's so flattering. Super Gross. flattering. Super. Super. <laughs> but yeah, so I tried to trim it in the bathroom and clean up, and I had to apologize to Ryan because he always trims his beard in there, and I get on him about like, <laughs> dude, clean the sink after you trim your beard. Yeah, totally. And I had a hard time cleaning up after Mm-hmm. myself that's why i got this crochet one it's nice and compact I know. doesn't shed where did you get it amazon really mm-hmm. ah i should have okay that's right i didn't order one from amazon because they didn't have the color i needed yeah. that's why so party city yeah i don't know what they have against blonde beards but there's like right there's no blonde beards it's so like an weird. anomaly or something yeah lots of blonde wigs but i did consider getting a blonde wig and tying it around my face that could have worked. It, Do the whole. It would have been so much work. Yeah. <gasps> you could have done that. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I my hair was it. long enough. Yeah. Just got a nice little beard here. I feel like we should have worn dangly earrings or something. Yeah. <laughs> so that we were just jingle, 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 jing. Yeah. Every time we. Whatever. Anyway. Anyway. This is going super well. It's going super well. Um, <laughs> Do you? <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> I like how we have. This these... is actually not a beard from from from. <laughs> where did I just say about it? Party City? It's a merkin. A merkin. Uh, it's a merkin that I cut a little <laughs> slit in. <laughs> okay. I don't. I don't even know what that means. A merkin. Ask your mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So. There's still a pube on this mic. Oh I have gosh. to. I, I'm gonna get it off. What does Brian do? What do they? What do I don't they know. Do what do they mics? even do in here? I don't watch the show. I have no idea. I don't usually watch it either. Ryan edits it, but like he listens to it on two times the speed. So oh. all I hear is <laughs> and both of them laughing, and it's the most obnoxious mm-hmm. sound. I think I've, I've listened heard. to it like, um, maybe like. 
one or two shows. But you know, when you live with them all the time, <laughs> you're like, I don't need to see this. <laughs> what are you drinking, Melissa? I actually don't even know. Steve made this for me. It has um, some kind of alcohol in it. I don't know. I'm just drinking it. He wanted you to, to be loosey-goosey. I think so. And sort of play with it. I, I'm i drinking Starbucks Grande Caramel Macchiato Iced. You know, I had... No, I had a vanilla latte earlier today. You did? Yeah, so I had coffee, and now I'm drinking alcohol, apparently. So you had an upper, and now you're having a downer. I guess, I guess so. I uh, learned in school, this is in not the D.A.R.E. program. I'm not... No, this is not my thing, so... You're not supposed to mix uppers and downers, Melissa. Yeah, that's probably true. I'm going to have it's, one tonight. I blame Steve. It's his fault. Yeah. Steven. So, he's always trying to get me wasted. I just... That's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's always... He's a bad influence. Just kidding. Steve is great. Steve is the <laughs> world's best um, basis. I was telling him the only thing it does is make me really giggly, and that's it. I'm frankly surprised we're not just sitting here giggling like <laughs> idiots. Um, yeah. We're trying to do a job. This is serious. Yeah, this is very serious. We need to... Do you actually have anything on your iPad? Because all I have is... I do. I have stuff. <laughs> we're going to try... We're sitting here with iPads like... We can take... so official. There's we're nothing... There's nothing on here. We're pretending... Oh, yeah. That's right. That we're very professional. I'm not very good at this. But... <laughs> I'm so good at this. I Are can't even believe it. Are we supposed to do this it. for an hour? Does this go on for an this hour? This episode is brought to you by Sinusoid Cable. <laughs> They make cables. <laughs> and smiles. <laughs> Is that okay? For an hour? Like, I think what it's are they... just as long as we can handle this. My lip is so itchy right now. I can't. This is disgusting. I'm like looking at his. Uh... <sighs> Oof. All his. <laughs> so ladylike over here. <laughs> so, okay. The what's new? Oh, when I, this is so dumb. I have to go back to my coffee. So when I went and bought my coffee right before this, because I just could not even cope if I didn't have some caffeine in me. The barista, I had to pay in quarters because mm -hmm. I forgot my wallet. Mm -hmm. As you do. Yes. <laughs> and uh, paid with quarters and I came up and I was like, ha ha, to the baristo. What do you call it? Is it baristo? <laughs> That's a good if it's question. A dude? I have no idea. Barista. I'm, I mean, barista I'm totally dude. going by like the Spanish <laughs> O and A. Ah. It could be very, very wrong. But yeah, I, I, I was like, I'm sorry. I'm about to ruin your life and pay in quarters. I'm <laughs> or about to make your life harder. And he was like, my life is already hard. And I was like, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Barista life is tough. Yeah. Sorry. And then I said, um, or he said, what is your name so I can put it on your drink? And I was like, Lauren. And he's like, I had a crush on Lauren. <laughs> and then she broke my heart. <laughs> he was like, she was a tiny little thing. And I was like, "Did are you saying that because you've noticed how giant i am like yeah, that's uh, awkward <laughs> i wasn't offended bit. at all i was having a grand old time to be honest but i was just like cool uh <laughs> i really i i just said that's a great story <laughs> please that's give great. me my drink <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome i love talking to baristos and naz <laughs> oh it's a naz what's new with you um, is there anything you want to talk about? Nothing that I can think of. I don't know. What's new with you? Sometimes I have to look back over my Facebook before I meet up with somebody to like, remember what I have done during the week. All I can tell you is, I mean, kids. It's yeah. all about the kids. <laughs> yes. We got two. You've got two. So you know how it is. Yes. Yeah. And I just, I had that second one. Almost well, six months ago. I was going to say, yeah. Maybe I'll breastfeed was... her at some point during the show when oh, she freaks yeah. out. I didn't even think about that. 
could be cool. Mom life. It's gonna. It would definitely scar a lot of people. <laughs> Mom life. Do they Don't usually you... look into the camera? Because I'm not I looking know, at all. I was all. gonna say, I'm like, should I be? You know, I see the the little screen, and then I see the camera. Yeah. I don't know. It makes me nervous looking over there. That's okay. I'm sure there's <laughs> only three people that have made it this far. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is going to live forever on the internet. I know. <sighs> That's okay. I Ryan and I talked about disabling least, comments. Yeah, at least we have our disguises on. So. Does Steve get, like, turned on by the nasty comments? Because I swear Ryan has Oh, I know Ryan ball. does. Ryan is... I don't understand. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I see him trolling. <laughs> Dude, Steve, um, I don't know what Steve's commentary is like on the comments or if he just, I don't know. I don't know. I just... feel like I don't usually see his stuff. They're fairly nice. Ryan's mm-hmm. actually pretty nice to trolling people, but he'll come up to me and he'll read me these Check horrible, horrible, mean comments. He, yeah. And he's smiling ear to ear like mm-hmm. he can't wait to play. Yeah. He, <laughs> he. I feel like he totally gets a rise out of it. And just yeah. knowing his... Facebook activity in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's totally Ryan. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. So maybe we could talk about uh, politics. Oh. Horoscopes. Horoscopes. Don't you want to know the future of your horse? (laughs) Uh, I'm good. (laughs) How many horses do you have? (laughs) What? I don't know what's going on right now. Are we talking into the mic enough? Because I just I think we're far enough away. I've been back here the whole time. Are we supposed to be back here? I think we're fine. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Watch it didn't pick up any. That would be fine, too. Yeah. If nobody heard anything we said, we're, there's, that would probably be fine. It's just going to be animal sounds dubbing over us anyway. Mm-hmm. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be very sexy. We might have to do that anyway, because I don't know how this is going to turn out. It's going to be bad. It's sorry. It's bad. Um, so let's look at a couple ads for some reason. Oh, you actually have. Yeah. You're, you're prepared. I have it. So this oh. is useless to me. I don't even know what I'm doing with it. <laughs> Ryan queued it up for me and made it idiot proof, oh, okay. which means I'm going to mess it up <laughs> okay. immediately. <laughs> God, this is so disgusting. <clears throat> okay. I need a break. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um. So this is a picture of an upside down guitar, I'm assuming. Because see, look how the headstock is. Oh. Looks like a body. <laughs> I just realized what I was. I, I don't know what's going on here. It took me a second, too, because it looks like a little. I am a piano player. Mm-hmm. Just so you know. <laughs> Not a and guitar. a good piano player. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm playing... And I'm a singer. <laughs> I'm playing a. I get to play a keyboard now. We've, like, upgraded. That church? Mm-hmm. Oh! Instead they of, got rid of the piano? Mm, well, they didn't get rid of it. They moved it into another room. Oh, okay. And what, As churches what, do. <laughs> what is that? What's that noise? That would be the bathtub filling up. Oh. Oh. So, hmm. I wonder how... What's going on up there? Yeah. I think they podcast through that sound. Okay. That wo- It won't be distracting at all. It's fine. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, they got a Nord... Oh, interesting. Stage three. I don't know. Um, But it's really, yeah. So I've I've advanced a little bit. I'm not so uh, traditional, I guess. That's cool. Yeah. You're not hiding behind the big... I'm not hiding behind the big thing anymore. I'm I'm out there in the open. And I'm facing the the congregation. How does it make you feel? Let's talk about feelings for a little while. (laughs) Um, I'm good as long as I'm not singing. That's yeah. I don't. I still know. feel that you way. You are the I'm singer. Singing. She's the singer. <laughs> I don't know how singers do it because I feel like I can't breathe when I'm I'm just playing and I can't even, I can't even find the breath. Yeah. So I still get out of breath, but I have stopped throwing up before every. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was usually the traditional. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, time to sing. Yeah. So okay. how do you get through it if you're feeling that? I can't breathe And you have to like... You oh, to, you just sing badly. You have to carry a song and <laughs> I just, I can't even imagine. Yeah. So my, my secret is just keep going and 
it's going to be bad. <laughs> My secret is to sound I've, bad. For what it's worth, I've never heard you sound bad. So. Oh, thank you. So I doubt it's bad, but you it's must probably, not be able to hear me. It's probably one of those things where you feel like, oh, I sound terrible right now. But everybody else is like, I'm sure they're good. Thank you. Like, yeah. You're your own worst critic. Mm hmm. We know how it goes. Mm -hmm. So now that we've completely discussed this guitar and stayed absolutely <laughs> Somehow relevant. we made it about us, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's another upside down guitar somewhere around here. Are we so, botching? Like, uh, oh, they go off topic all the time. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, are we going to... Are we going to botch all these these um, gear reviews? Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> no, we're going to talk about them the way we know how to talk about them. Is that called a fret? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Wait, are these all frets? These yeah, the, line... fret, the frets are the, the um, you know. The, the, the lines oh, that go up the neck of the guitar, right? Mm -hmm. so God, I'm wow, you really downed that all of a sudden. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm, get, I'm getting more nervous. So. <laughs> it's hot the under these lights. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't want to make it sound like, oh, we're just we're just girls and we don't know anything about guitars or gear or anything. Because <laughs> there are amazing guitar players that are women and they need more representation. Oh yeah. And um, we're just not them. But here's the problem. <laughs> I'm I, you know, back in the day, Steve bought me a guitar. I think Ryan, did he do that with you? Baby too? Taylor, yeah. Yeah, bought me a guitar. <laughs> that was when we were dating. He's so thoughtful. And you know, I played it a little bit, but I don't know what it is. It's the the technique. Like I just, I, I don't, I probably gave up too soon. But just, it's so, it's, it's like frustrating because, yeah. It's just not, um, obviously, like, if you're going to learn any instrument, you have to get over that hill. Yeah. And keep I didn't going. get over it either. I didn't. I, I got my calluses. And I'm mad about it because I'm like, man, if I just stuck with it back then, that was over, what, like 15 years ago? Yeah. Well, I mean, you yeah. could still pick it up. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's just a different technique and it's, I don't know. So yeah, guitar, this guitar... <laughs> Whatever this is. Can you do you have to play it backwards? I, <laughs> I so funny. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with They this. just they made the the body look like the headstock okay, and vice versa. Okay, so it's like it's different. That's it's uh, a thing. I feel I like I just got really ranty about about a uh, yeah, that's probably the the drink kicking in. <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> Melissa gets very uh, pro women when she's drinking. Okay. Very uh, apparently. What is the uh, fe feminist? Fe yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Sure. That's okay. I mean, no, I'm there. I'm there. I'm just. I'm not very. If you know me, you know I'm not very. I outspoken. I'm kind of, you know, reserved. Reserved. And but you've got strong opinions, and that's a good thing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So here we are. <laughs> Talking about our strong opinions. I don't know what just happened. I hope that wasn't like... It's okay. Crazy. It is all good. We're done with this guitar. If we Everybody ever Everybody has their talents. Yeah, that's true. I don't true. know. What am I doing? Well, you know, we're, we're not guitar players. Yeah. And obviously we're not trying to represent guitar players. And our husbands barely represent guitar players. Oh, oh. burn. <laughs> Burn, uh, honey. So, anyway, <laughs> he's allowed to edit that out. If he leaves it in, that's just... I feel like this thing is making me talk so weird because it's so small. We, we <laughs> can't open our mouths this way. <laughs> is this what our husbands feel like? I don't know. I'm going to give Ryan a big kiss while I wear this. <laughs> I want him to know. What it feels like. Yeah, yeah mine won't really do that because it's... Just, Yours will be all soft and fabric, pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Definitely. Yeah. You should kiss Ryan. I'm going to do it. I'm going to chase my four year old you know, and give him a That kiss reminds too. me of that office <laughs> episode. Oh, my gosh. Um, what's that one where Steve Carell? He's like, kiss her. Kiss her good. Do you remember that? No. I, but I loved the I office. I feel like it's like Jim and Pam when they finally are out to the office and he's like he's like yeah kiss her good 
Uh, I mean, it sounds like something he would say because he always popped up when it was <laughs> very convenient and appropriate. Yes. Oh, it's very good. Very good. Um, All right. So look at this guitar. There is a face on it <laughs> that looks just like us. Yeah, as a matter actually, of fact, maybe more your hair. Yeah, I think so. Probably. Can you make that face? I can't see it very well. <laughs> oh, it's all the way over there. Here, let's, let's see. Let's block our faces really quick. It's very Pantene. <laughs> that kind of looks like me, actually. Right. It's it's a Pantene guitar. I'm it's sure. It's got like yeah. His eyes kind of remind me of those uh, Talbot family eyes. Oh, I could see that. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should probably flash a picture of your brother up on oh the screen. Oh my gosh. I yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. I look just like my brother right now. I mean, he doesn't have a beard, but. It's scary how much I look like my brother. You can take your beard off for a second if you want. No, that's okay. You came from the same mom, so. I feel safer with my beard on. <laughs> you can hide behind it. These are our safety beards, you guys. <laughs> yeah, that way, if somebody, like, screenshots this and, I don't know, it's going to be. You'll yeah. never know. You'll never know it was me. No. I mean. Yeah, oh, my I gosh. Tell. Wait, oh, we don't have red light cameras anymore. I was going to say we should wear these while we're driving. We'll never get, like, the judge oh my won't gosh. know. Yeah, they don't do those anymore in California. Thank goodness. I mean, they haven't for a while, but. They were yeah. stupid. Mm -hmm. Stupid. Okay, let's talk about this guitar. <laughs> so his hair is supposed to look like flames, maybe. Yeah. Who, is this a someone we should know? I'm not sure. Um, is this rock and roll Jesus? Maybe it's Jesus. He has on. blue eyes and he's white, so Mormon Jesus? <laughs> Hold on a sec. What does the title say? Uh, it just oh, Les Paul Custom Pro eight hundred dollars. Uh, includes Ernie Ball leather strap, new humbucker, two new graphic string savers, custom paint job. I don't know. What I know is. what a custom paint job is. Yeah. <laughs> what are those other things? Oh, a case. I know what a case ball uh, case is. Ernie Ball leather strap. Obviously, Ernie Ball must be the uh ah brand oh, oh, oh okay mm. this is what comes up apparently uh we should ernie ball was an american <laughs> entrepreneur and musician best known in the development of guitar related projects okay so yeah it's just his brand Alrighty. see we can google things on the fly and make this <laughs> sure, a very sure. informative yeah um um but still i don't know who who's that face i don't know uh, it it doesn't matter. <laughs> I want I I'm maybe done. it's maybe it's the dude's face. His skin is so maybe you got it custom made so you could oh. put your face on your guitar so you could oh. always see it. Ew! <laughs> <gasps> the only person I'd be okay with doing that would be like Weird Al or um Prince, if he was still with us. Right, we miss you, Prince. Oh my gosh. Or um Ooh, Michael Bolton. Does he play guitar? He only plays piano, right? Probably. <laughs> we watched the Michael Bolton Valentine's Day special last night. Oh yeah? Oh, it's so I have good. never seen that. You gotta watch it. It's so good. Mm. Um I don't know who that is. I yeah. No who, idea. You don't know who Michael Oh. No, this I don't guy. know who this guy oh, is. Oh, I was like, oh <laughs> no, I know Michael Bolton. Um we're gonna watch it right now. They have to watch us watch it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know who it is. He's making the, um, the, uh, blue steel face. Mm. I feel very uncomfortable. I feel a little sexually harassed right now, to so be honest. So, Ryan picked these out, right? He did. He's probably picking them out to mess with us, so. But this is real stuff that I they. I know, but whatever we say is going to sound awful. We're going to be like, I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, what is that? We're not supposed to know. Oh, okay, Pantera. Pantera. But what does this say? Dumenball C F H. If, if it's like a famous signature or something. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This looks like a T or a D. A M E M B A Y. Ray. Wait, does it say something? <laughs> Includes. No, 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 no. Come back. Two new humbucker. Two new graphite string savers. No, this means nothing to me. If Ryan came home with this, I would have all the questions. Yeah. 
How often does Steve come home with new gear? Um, I wouldn't say he comes home with new gear, but I see... Sometimes I see packages piling up and I'm like, what oh is all gosh. this stuff? Pedals and... Yeah. It doesn't fit anywhere because we live in a pretty small place. Uh-huh. So it's just like all out and I'm just I don't know what that is. So... Right. Yeah. It, you never it, know what's coming. It comes somehow... <laughs> Sometimes he does through get, the mail. Yes, I'm through assuming. The mail. Sometimes through the mail. Sometimes he just uh, I don't know. It just exists, and it's like, oh, there's a another thing. And he likes to use our shelf in the living room and just pile them on top of the top of the shelf because he's so oh tall. Oh my gosh! And he can reach it, and I can't. And it's just, <laughs> he doesn't it's want you to there. touch this stuff. Maybe <laughs> it's just I'm like put this there. out of reach of my wife. Yeah, and it's it's uh it's like become our living room decor is just all this. I like that. All this gear. Yeah. I wish we had a garage. That would be great. It's been really nice. I, when we found out we were pregnant with Edith, Mm -hmm. I was like, you have this amount of time to get all your stuff into the garage or I'm just going to start throwing it into the garage, (laughs) which I mean is legit. Mm -hmm. If I'm, I'm not the boss of him. I'm his partner. And uh, we needed the space. Had you discovered Cone Mari or the Cone Mari? No, method? not yet. Not yet. I keep wanting to say it the other way around. But is that it Con is a, Cone Marie? It's Con Marie. It's Con Marie or Con, Con, Marie. Con Marie. I've heard I keep several... wanting to say it the opposite way, which is a naughty word in Spanish. Oh. Okay. Naughty. I won't, I won't say um, that. I keep saying it. It's not good. <laughs> um, no, I hadn't discovered it yet, but. Yeah, the Conmary method. Mm-hmm. Oh, I threw away so much stuff. It was amazing. Yeah, I got like, I actually, I would, I would throw this away. Yes, in the yes, definitely. <laughs> no, one of the things. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up because one of the things that she talks about, like <laughs> one, one big claw and oh. one normal hand. Do you want the other one? Sure. Here, <laughs> accessorize. Yes, and don't be afraid to like touch <laughs> and caress. Oh my goodness. Your hair. And Alrighty. I didn't want to say just yourself. We should try yeah. these donuts too. Oh my gosh. When yes. it's time. When it's time for the donuts. Um these so they're gloves, dinosaur gloves yes, for you I listeners at home. Because someone walked in with them and it just felt right. It just felt right. <laughs> um uh so yeah, the Conry. So something that I really liked that she was talking about, since I know Steve and Ryan talk a lot about like how much gear. I know it feels very feminine. How much gear in the house and like coexisting with gear and husband or whatever. Yeah. Um. But one of the things Conmarie talks about is it's not you're not allowed to throw away your spouse's mm-hmm. things. Yeah, definitely. Or like if you are a younger person still living with your parents, even if you are in you know you know your parents haven't used things for years or whatever like every situation is different if you have parents declining in health or whatever like that's one thing Mm -hmm. um uh or in cognition whatever but it's just i like that she said it's just not respectful like Mm -hmm. because part of the whole method of getting rid of stuff is just the things that don't spark joy or whatever which it's been kind of cool like walking around the house Mm -hmm. after getting rid of a lot of stuff and being like Oh, I like all of these things. There's nothing that is in the house. Yeah, that... it's not necessarily a minimalist approach. Yeah, it can be, but yeah, it could be like you know, you could keep a thousand guitars around, and that could be your yeah. joy. Just not that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not this one. Thank you for bringing it back around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is really super ugly. My favorite guitar in here. I like, we tried to make it so that we would decorate around the house with guitars. Mm -hmm. Um, Just one to get them out of the way. And yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I know this is, it's so sweaty. It's like, I can't even. Well, I'm going to get up and get my favorite. Oh, I like that one too. It's it's so harder. Yeah. There's a story behind this one. Ryan does this all the time. (laughs) Oh, okay. I'm back at the mic. Ryan's going to be so mad. So this guitar... I loved this one because when Ryan and I first started dating, he had this guitar and he was playing it for me and I was kind of looking at it and I was like, this is, this is cool. And, um, 
he said, uh, sorry, he hadn't even got, it was hanging in his room or something. He was looking at me Mm -hmm. and I was looking at him. We were looking at each other (laughs) so much in love. Mm -hmm. And he said, your eyes remind me of wood. Oh, wow. And I was like, I don't think I've ever heard this story. Yeah. I was like, cool. (laughs) I felt like I kind of knew like what he meant. Mm -hmm. Because if you didn't know, we all go way back. Oh, so far back. So far back. (laughs) There's a bar up on the screen right now. And I keep thinking it's like right in my face. Oh, the yellow. So I'm like going around. I'm messing with the sound so bad. Um, So anyway, this guitar is like, your eyes look like wood. And I was like, (laughs) oh, that's cool. (laughs) And he's like, no, 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 let me show you what I mean. And so he went and he took this guitar down off the wall. And he was like, I just think it's so beautiful how it it just goes so deep. And like the way it it reflects different shades of brown, the way you move it around. And and he started describing it. And I was like, that's so romantic. Holy cow. So he's not allowed to get rid of this. On that note, I keep telling Steve, like, brown eyes are really pretty. Steve has brown eyes. Um, no, but he he's like, oh, the color of poop. And I'm like, no, oh. there are so many things that are brown that are really pretty, like a nice, I feel like, <laughs> suddenly we're QVC. Like, like this sensual guitar. Touch it, Melissa. Wait, where's I'm my sure. thing? It's so... Oh, my goodness. Oh, I asked Ryan to show me how to play the oh. intro of this song. I don't know. 60 cycle. cycle. <laughs> um, the end. Okay. Can't. Can't awesome. Do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm really fond of, um, like, teal and, and, like, the light blue type of a thing. Yeah colors on guitars i'm just i get these moments where i'm suddenly super aware of how we sound that's okay like, i just really like the teal colored guitars they're so, they're oh my, so pretty melissa what do you think plays better a pink guitar or a red guitar <laughs> totally pink <'cause> it's, <laughs> it's like barbie oh my gosh melissa i totally agree I want to, I'm trying to, I want to do Lumpy Space Princess. Look at my lumps. (laughs) Lumpy Space Princess. I love the purple guitar. (laughs) Can't even focus. I know. It's okay. Mm. They don't, they never focus on their show. I see a pink guitar strap over there. Is that what that is? Yes. It's like a pink strap. It reminds me of a Cheshire Cat, actually. I could see that. The Cheshire Cat. If Penelope played guitar. This episode is brought to you by Didario. Didario. Dad. Didario. By Dad's Dario. It's uh, something about your balls on strings. <laughs> okay, what did you want me to say? What am I supposed to say? Your balls are on strings, Didario. <laughs> this is the product. Oh, I could have used this as my beard. <laughs> um, that would have made a good beard. Ryan always talks about like <laughs> how the best pet would be a furry snake because mm, you could a furry pet it. Snake, you could pet it all the way down. Does he have a thing for snakes or something? Because he's like dreaming about snakes. He's I don't know. He just <laughs> there's so many things about snakes that are. Do you remember riding the snake? That sounds so <laughs> sexual. Yes, I remember this. Yeah, okay, I do. So riding the snake. Let's see if I can remember. Is this a thing that existed or did we make it up? Oh, we made it up. Okay. I think, I think I, I can't remember if it was me or Ryan that made it up, but Mm. basically you get some raw cookie dough and you roll it into like, it could be about this long (laughs) or whatever. And you have, you tell one of your friends or you ask them, do you want to ride the Mm -hmm. snake? I remember this. Yes. And I'm picture. explaining it for everybody We have else. to flash a picture of this. Oh, yeah. You got to find one on Live Journal or something. There's de- there's <laughs> got to be one of Adam Powell. Oh, yeah. Sucking on the snake. Has Adam ever... He guessed... rode the snake. Right. But has he ever guested on the show or anything? Oh, I'm sure he has. He did the intro. He wrote the intro. Like, so... twice. Yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> I've been trying not to burp into the mic for 15 to 20 minutes. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. Um <laughs> God, do you remember I'm when Steve fir- Do you remember when Steve and Ryan first started the show and Steve would eat on the mic <laughs> every episode and I, I was like, "Ryan, you cannot do this anymore." I don't remember that, but that's probably because I only listened to one episode <laughs> and i was like okay i'm out <laughs> have you still only listened to one maybe two that's okay i think the maybe. only reason i have is because again i'm in the office when bits, editing. yeah bits and pieces here and there i probably i keep meaning to like i should probably listen to more you don't have podcasts. to it won't affect your life I'm in, I'm in the group i you are yeah the you know the Facebook, not the, not the insider. What is that? The group? inner circle. Not the inner. We're not allowed, I, we're not in, the allowed in the inner circle unless we pay. Yeah, that's so, okay. No, we probably shouldn't be in there anyway. It's not fair. Yeah, it's true. I mean, yeah, oh I got gosh. no problem with that. Do you think if we paid, we could? Be oh in my it? gosh. Well, I know you and Ryan have separate accounts, right? Facebook accounts? No, like bank accounts. Yes. We have a joint account. <laughs> oh. So you're like, why is this money? Uh, okay. So I- <laughs> we, but you know what? You share that money. That's true. If you yes. want to, is that a weird like embezzlement sort of a thing? <laughs> no. While he is, yeah, while he's podcasting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> every, well, I guess it's like, okay. It's like once every two weeks. Yeah. I'm at home with the kids. And no, I don't know. It's not a big deal. I, <laughs> yeah, those nights are fun. Oh, I know they're especially fun for you because you have to be here. And I'm putting the kids putting to the bed. Putting the kids to bed. Our our bedroom is like right up there. Yeah, so yeah. I'll be up there trying to go to bed. I finally got the baby down, mm-hmm. and then I just hear them laughing their butts off, and I'm just like, shut up, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> If you wake up this baby. Yeah, yeah. Especially oh my with, gosh. Especially with a baby. They've been doing this for what, five years now? Is that how long? No. Wait, no way. Was Henry born when they started this show? Oh, gosh. Yeah, because. I don't remember oh, now. I remember. I trust your memory. Okay. You have the best memory of well, anyone I've ever known. I don't know exactly when they started, but I remember the first time they went to Nam, they... Uh, yeah, because it was January. Claire was born in December. And I remember um, one of her friends <laughs> was like, I can't believe you're going to Nam. Okay. Oh, she, yeah. Not like that. But like, <clears throat> oh, I can't Don't believe, worry. She's not going to watch I can't believe. This. Can't. Whoever you're talking about. Friend, if you know, you know who. I, oh, my gosh. I'm making this sound so dramatic. It's not dramatic. It was just like. <laughs> You're going to Nam and leaving your wife at home with the kid. So that that I remember that because it was they they that was the only year where he was just gone for the day mm-hmm. and not like a few days. Mm. Um, but I remember that day was a really long day. So I was like, oh, I got a the newborn and the other kid. Where was I going with this again? Oh, that Claire had just been born and she's so basically she's four now. So basically, at least. This is an ugly ass guitar. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yes. Yes. Nailed it. We did it. <laughs> Nailed it. All <laughs> right. Andy. But like, seriously. The office again. Yeah. Yes. It's always on my mind. <laughs> if you if you want to continue the story, you okay, seriously no, 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 can't. It's fine. It's okay. fine. I'm good. I'm I have this thing where like I'm putting my foot in my mouth because now I'm like, wait, did I just I didn't mean to call out our friend. And... No, it's fine. But, you know, I mean, you know, you leave your wife who's just had a newborn. It's some people would say, you know, I don't know. <laughs> that it's crazy. That it's crazy. I mean, you you said it was fine. And Steve yeah. is the kind of person who if you were like, I need you here, he would have stayed. Sure. If I like really, um, yeah, like was like, oh, I can't, I can't do this. But I mean, it was literally only a day. As the years have gone by, <laughs> it's turned into like. It was going to be a few days or a right. weekend. But, um, you know, but then I take them somewhere. Mm-hmm. So it's like one, one year I took them to Great Wolf Lodge, which was a mistake. Oh. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we'll have this fun girls day and I'll take them to Great Wolf all by myself. That did not um, 
it was fun, but it was definitely tricky with the <laughs> the ages and yeah. Mm-hmm. And the drive didn't. I remember there was like a couple meltdowns on the drive, and yeah, we don't. We've do had that those anymore. too. I'm usually like, stop crying, Ryan. <laughs> We're trying to drive up a mountain. Oh, Ryan, hate doesn't he hate? <laughs> the last time I remember, I mean, this was years ago, but the cabin trip that was before you were dating. I mean, he gets grumpy on long road trips, right? No. No? no, okay, he's fine. I okay. was just kidding. Oh, I thought he was. I... Oh, I just opened up your heart. <laughs> Wait, <kidding>. what? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? <laughs> no, I was just kidding. Okay, I thought he was a grumpy road road tripper. He's a grumpy person. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if his sixty cycle hum family would know this. You guys are all his mistresses. I just need to be very <laughs> clear about this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I threaten him sometimes that, like, seriously, I'm going to go. Do you understand? I could go into your <laughs> office at any moment and delete your whole oh career. Oh, gosh. <laughs> wow. I never thought of it that way. because like, I would never, ever do that because yeah. I'm not a psychopath. Um, but it's so fun to joke about. Yeah. It's so fun well, to... Steve doesn't have that. Oh, no, he could, couldn't he? Yeah. From the YouTube, he could just, like, delete. Yeah. Oh, my God. Delete the pit. We could make this all go away. <laughs> oh, yes, we could. <laughs> the power. <laughs> my gosh, we have so much right. power. <laughs> That's true. I never thought of it that way. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe because you're a better person than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I call. I call his phone his mistress. Because oh, sometimes, yeah. like, I'll come downstairs and he's cooking or something, and which is awesome. Yeah. And he'll, like, there's... slip his phone into his pocket. Not because he's, like, because <laughs> the... people have to worry about, you know, their husbands getting into trouble online sometimes or whatever. Oh, yeah, legit. yeah. Legit. But, like, <laughs> no, it's I'm just... just like, who are you talking to? All of your 60 cycle home listeners? And he's like, my... I'm in my 60 cycle home group. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Your girlfriends. Your boyfriends. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> there's the cough. <laughs> there's the cough. It's like, there's the cough. Ugh. Yeah. So maybe it's when I'm feeling jealous that I threaten. <laughs> gotcha. You think they're so sexy, don't you? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, the 60 cycle hum group. Yeah. The only other thing I find him clicking out of is... uh. When he's supposed to be working and I walk in on him playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> roller Coaster Tycoon. And I'm like, just remember, this could be so much worse. <laughs> it's just Roller ta- Coaster Tycoon. It's just trolling on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's look at this guitar. Yeah, yeah, there's another one there. <laughs> we just want to take another moment to apologize for everything that you're hearing. It's like a million <sighs> strings over there. I can't even... It's it's a wide guitar. <laughs> yes. We allowed this to happen by not cutting off basses at five strings. FYI, this is not Photoshop. It actually <laughs> looks Photoshopped. I found this for sale from a sketchy Chinese guitar counterfeiter. Do you even bass solo, bro? Because jazz. <laughs> Hashtag. I'm so glad you read that. <laughs> you read so been, much better than I would have. I haven't been reading them. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Just a lot of... Uh, yeah. How would you even... I would assume you just put it on your lap. You'd have to do the Claire technique. That's our four-year-old. She just stands it up and... You know, plays it like a like this way. Yeah. I would. What do you call the ones you put on your lap and you pull? You play the strings and. Mm, um, an auto not, harp or maybe it's not a lap steel, right? I mean, I have lap? no idea. I want to say it's something about a lap steel, but it's just because of the word lap. Oh, this show is making me realize I really ought to know more about. We don't have to, instruments. though. Instruments. That's why I'm kind husbands... of one track. That's that's the thing. Uh, you know, a lot of people are like really good at encompassing a bunch of 
all this knowledge of different instruments and gear. And I'm just like, eh, I'm, you know, I'm good with my little keyboard that I can barely uh, figure out. But you know stuff about keyboards. Not everybody knows. That's legit. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I'm well, not you very... know more than I know. You probably know more than the guys know. I'm not very techy. I can play them, but when it comes to the effects and everything, I'm just, I'm like, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. It's cool, yeah. man. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. What is our consensus? Final you, consensus. Just... I don't want this hanging in our house. Yeah, probably not. It's funny because it does look totally photoshopped from it here. Does. It just looks like somebody oh, expanded the. No, it looks like they got rid of a watermark that was oh, over top you, of the photo. Yeah, you would know because you're good with the, the Photoshop. I would have done yeah. a better job. <laughs> Maybe, possibly. I'm a graphic yeah, designer. Deal. No. Yeah, I was gonna say she's a graphic designer. She deals with like people stealing, her stuff all the time. With like the watermarks. No, this is mine. But there's like a watermark up in the yes. corner. No, really, I did it. <laughs> you just you go on the internet it's my and you see a picture. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything on the internet is free and up for grabs. Um, uh oh. Should we answer? Let's answer a couple oh. of the questions that people wanted okay. the guys to answer. Mm. <laughs> the but one. sorry. Yeah, they're not going to is... be answering it. I don't think so. Again, sorry. We should just keep apologizing to everyone. Yeah. Um, Caleb Neff asks, kind of a heavy topic, but my friend and I are wanting to start a YouTube channel, so we're curious. Over the years, do you feel like the podcast and YouTube have brought you two closer together as friends or turned your friendship into somewhat of a business relationship? Or is it pretty much the same, but with a business to run? Hmm. So we've been doing this for about 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do you think it's affected our friendship? Um, I would say, you know, it's, um, I don't know. It's, it's fine. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Okay. It gave me, it gave me an excuse to come over. So yeah, I hey. like this. <laughs> this is great. That's actually, uh, yeah, I it get so caught up in uh, mom life that I don't. This episode is brought to you by Chase Bliss Audio. They make this box I'm holding way better, more creative than you are. <laughs> This is, it's called Condor. There's a big bird on it. <laughs> Chase Bliss Audio made this box thing, <laughs> made this pedal. It's got a big bird on it. <laughs> <laughs> it probably has to be serious, right? Or does it have to be? No. It doesn't okay. have to be. Oh, okay. I don't know. Chase Bliss Audio makes, I can't, why can't I call this a freaking pedal? I keep calling it a little box. This episode is brought to you by. This episode is brought to you by Chase Bliss Audio. They made this little guitar box with a condor on it. Kakara! <laughs> <laughs> Probably because you're trying to get him to bed. And I mean, we it, have like school night, and yeah, it's usually like Thursday night, and that's true. Yeah, trying to get Claire to bed can sometimes actually not bad. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Oh my gosh! I can't believe you did that. Oh. Stay. <laughs> is this a thing like you have a legit beard if you can like put a pen in maybe it i i just remember that uh thing did ryan put a beard in his a bird in his beard or am i imagining yes he did was it a real bird it was my love birds when we were okay. dating he put them in his beard I and suddenly, they like yeah i suddenly got this flashback of like why am i remembering a bird in ryan's beard you did guys, that happen or melissa has the most Crazy accurate memory of anyone I've ever known. Apparently, I remember. She remembers everything. It's crazy. Um. So, do you think we could answer this question on behalf of on behalf of our everywhere? husbands? Yeah. Um. It's just good question. I feel they're like the same. I feel like they're pretty much the same. There you guys, is, yeah. From the time they run into each other they are podcasting in real time mm -hmm. they just mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's crazy it's true that's probably why they started a podcast that's exactly like, why they can just you know um but the business stuff is i guess like some things can be frustrating sometimes but i don't think it's like well that's friendship in I, general yeah i think you just have to 
kind of know, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Kind of depends on the relationship probably. Yeah. And your business tactics. Cause I would say some people probably can't work together that well. Totally. You probably should have a feel for that. You need to have some of the same values if you're mm-hmm. going to be yeah. teaming up to do something because uh, things start to clash really hard if you guys. Okay. I'm going to brag on our husbands for a second. <laughs> They're really honest and straightforward, and they talk about products they believe in. Yeah, that's and the other thing, too. Yeah. They, I don't feel like they got into it to be like, let's do a YouTube thing and get a bunch of... Yeah. I don't I don't know what, you know. We're going to make a bunch of money. We're going to make money. Although I would like it if that would happen, quite frankly, because... Uh, oh, yeah. No one's living... <laughs> no one's living large over here. No. <laughs> but they like, they like to do it, and... Um, yeah, they, it, yeah, kind of spurred from a passion. Mm-hmm. So I feel like we're making it sound very lofty. Like they were just so passionate about it. And then well, a, everything a they talk about bored. sounds like an emergency. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, and they just, they get to this level of volume and intensity. Mm-hmm. And it just took sticking a mic in front of their faces. Yeah, yeah. Which, I don't even remember how it started, come to think of it. It started, I, I remember specifically being like, they were talking about a podcast or podcasting mm-hmm. in general. And I was like. That's one thing I don't remember, apparently. <laughs> it was at a party here. Okay. I remember I totally. In, oh, yeah. And I was like, room. you guys need to just start a podcast because mm-hmm. neither of you breathe. Mm-hmm. You just talk, talk, <laughs> talk, talk. Which I love. I've heard before, like, people say like, oh, there goes Ryan interrupting Steve again. And I'm like. But here's the thing about Steve that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Steve would just keep talking forever. Yeah, he would. Totally. Which is a gift. It's quite frankly. Yeah, he's the he's definitely the more uh, talkative, chatty guy. (laughs) Chatty guy. It's good, though. I was going to say chatty guy in our relationship. (laughs) The chatty one. Yeah. No, I mean, I can talk when I get going, but yeah. Sure. But he like he'll run over you and not let you talk <laughs> at all. <laughs> That's like the extrovert introvert. Sure. The uh yeah. It works. Yeah. And they speak well together and is Ryan an it is he an introvert? Does he classify? He's kind That's of right. both. So oh now we're gonna get onto this topic. Should we do Enneagrams? Oh my gosh. What am I again? A nine? I think I'm Are a you nine. a nine? Mm-hmm. I'm a nine wing one. I don't really? know if I believe I don't super rem- in Enneagram. I don't remember but... the the wings, but I remember being a nine. So a nine, you guys, for all of you who care and for all of you who don't care, is a peacemaker. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that we just makes want sense. peace, y'all. It makes sense because that's also like a pleaser thing. And I know you've said you're kind of like a pleaser. I'm the same way. Yeah. We <laughs> so. I'm yes, the same way. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the same way, guys. I think it. I, you know what? I think that this furry strap is going to be my emotional support animal because I'm having a really good time having it on me. <laughs> I feel very secure, yo. Um, what were we talking about? Um, introverts and right, introverts. So, oh yeah, yeah. Do you know what Steve is? Did he ever take he the is, test? He's extroverted, and the thing about him being extroverted is some people don't see him as an extrovert because he's not necessarily bubbly, mm-hmm. but he's definitely like, he gets his energy. He's totally an extrovert. So, yes. Yeah. So you, you know, but some people have thought like, really, you're an extrovert, but it's because he's, um, I think you have to be in the right context with him. Mm hmm. So then you'll, you'll see it come out more. Yeah. But I mean, you can technically be a more reserved extrovert. Oh yeah. It's just about like. You want, you know, you get your energy socially, whereas introverts need to have some downtime. Yes. <laughs> so I'll probably have a introvert hangover after this week. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm get playing that. tomorrow and mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, but it doesn't mean. But then introverts can be outgoing too. Oh, absolutely. But I just tend to be more shy and introverted, so I get like double whammy. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, I can talk as long as. You know, if you get me going, like I can, I can talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it, for subjects that you know about and 
that you yeah. feel confident discussing and yeah i just tend to be a little bit more like mm -hmm. reserved you know if i go to a party i will probably be in the corner <laughs> No, talking. I'm no, it's, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm better in small, small settings. Like the mm -hmm. idea of Nam. Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, even, and the barrage of noise. Even that depends because it's like I don't really mind crowds if you don't have to mingle. Yeah, I get that. I like, get that. I can be in a crowd if I'm not expected to talk to anybody. Then you know that's fine. Sure, um, but you know, at, at church, you know, like everybody. Go hug somebody and shake hands. And Everyone get up and go tongue life. kiss your neighbor five seats down. I get really those nervous. Are, those are the things during where I'm the like, tongue oh, kissing no. request. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Going to throw our churches under the bus. Like what churches do they go to? <laughs> it's not my Yikes. current church. It was one I went to once. <laughs> Just once. We stopped after the first like <laughs> the first five tongue kissing episodes. Oh my gosh. Uh, it was so. Anyway. It was a very romantic church. Anyway. So yeah, um, your friends can be business partners. It kind of just depends. Yeah. Yeah. Get on the same page. Make sure you have the same values, and uh, <laughs> just the same thing. Where like some people can't live with each other. Yeah. True. It just you're. Keep your boundaries. Set your boundaries. I feel like we're lucky because, I mean, neither of us, a lot of people live together before they get married. Mm -hmm. Neither of us did. Somehow it worked out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but yeah. Now we we're saved. Getting... We saved the sexy times. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see you blushing under the beard. I am. Yes. That's why I like We the... have four children between us. It's... We have had sex. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to think about uh... Ryan and Steve having sex. <laughs> why do you think this is why we're hiding our faces? I hope they cut this. <laughs> now you I can, hope they leave it. I can see the. the, the, the <laughs> out. Oh. oh, my goodness. Also, I think I need to make it known that we are not our husbands. And oh, my gosh. Our, our personalities no! are not necessarily the same. Oh, I thought you were going to reveal. Wait. That we've been tricking them the whole time. Oh, right. It's us, yeah. guys. No, we introduced ourselves. And somehow again. Ryan's <laughs> got a, you know, brunette beard going on. <laughs> this is so disgusting. I love, I love Ryan's beard. I love it. Do you really? I do. I love his beard. I don't, yeah. The last time Steve shaved was probably for his this job he had and that was like what six years ago maybe yeah i didn't know like <laughs> when it's weird oh my gosh have you seen steve with no beard it's i have it i know you have it doesn't it's, look it's very strange it it's, is it's straight they both i like know, ryan yeah, ryan too yeah because I remember Ryan without a beard. Yeah, I forbade him at one point. <laughs> like different. he didn't. He did had no facial hair. He's always had kind of like a what is that, a soul patch because he has a mole under there and he would always cut it every time he shaved and it would bleed everywhere. <laughs> into the microphone. Well, then we've both barbed into oh the microphone. Oh my goodness, we've been drinking. I sound so proper. Oh my goodness. Anyway, we've been. Are you gonna finish that sentence? We've been drinking <laughs> coffee. And a mixed drink for you. Yeah, Steve Steve made it for me. I don't know what was in it, but apparently ginger ale and... Hard liquor. Hard liquor. So, uh... And I'm still nervous. Like, it doesn't work on <laughs> me. Okay. I'm telling you. I've, yeah, we're not going to watch this. We're not, we're not going to oh watch gosh. ourselves. Um, so I forbade Ryan to ever buzz his head again because he did it a couple <laughs> yeah. times when we were dating. He, if he that. doesn't have facial hair and he buzzes his hair uh buzzes his head, he looks like Uncle Fester. Oh, and I could not yeah, I I'm like, I can't deal with this. Yeah. Steve's old license, he had a buzzed head. Oh. And he said people told him he looked like he looks completely different with like a buzzed head. The Oklahoma bomber. <gasps> Ooh. Apparently. So yeah, let's stay away from At least that. Uncle Fester was nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to look like that guy, so. Well, Ryan told me I look like Charles Manson, so. 
<laughs> Whatever. Um, let's answer this one yeah. last question. Uh, Caleb Neff says, thoughts on the rising hardcore and metalcore scene. Bands like Code Orange, Year of the Knife, Vein, Nails, Trail of Lies, Sanction. Is it a nostalgic revamp of the mid-2000s or genuinely different? Why do all the bands use the same dissonant chord for every song? Why are they using <laughs> Fenders instead of ESP and Ibanez like the old guard? Should I get my hopes up? Should I start a band with younger college students? Will I ever be in a cool band again? Will I die happy? Wow, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> my answer to that is I don't know. True. Yeah. Thank you the for <laughs> tuning in to this episode of 60 Cycle Hum. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we're, we're, I think we're done. I think we're done. You. Yeah, yeah. Do you want a donut? And which sure. one? Sure. Oh, decision. Do whatever you want. I'm going to take this one. Cool. <laughs> so you so get the giant one. Now what's going to happen is um, they will play a song. And we're just going to eat these <laughs> donuts. Delicious donuts. Can't even open my mouth. And I couldn't sleep for all your calligraphy. It's making me weak every time I stop to see. I wreck inside your old base flyer. Just a comic collect with no desire. Whoa. It's up to me. Do you say sorry? Do you say welcome? (laughs) Welcome to sixty cycle hunt. What do you even say? So disgusting. (laughs) I have so much hair in my mouth right now.
<laughs> oh my gosh. Do you they're feel be, like they're shame? Gonna be, they're going to be playing music, right? <laughs> I don't know. He might pull a fast one. I really mm. want those swallowing and chewing sounds to be in there. <laughs> oh, ASMR. What? ASMR. Mm. You know the like, um, what is it? What are you doing? You know what that is, right? No. ASMR, like, you, you, you talk like this. Oh, we should have done that. <gasps> we could still do it. You talk like this through the thing, and then, like, I don't know. And now I'm going to tap really lightly on this. Is that supposed to sound like rain or something? No, I think I think what it is is it's, like, um, um, Cause I know for, like, sensitive. They, I remember Ryan talking <laughs> about how whispering relaxing for some people well, the problem is i would botch it every time because i just laugh maybe we should say something whispering into the mic right now <laughs> my beard keeps touching the mic <laughs> <laughs> melissa <laughs> melissa i can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> melissa i'm done <laughs> Oh my goodness, this isn't very good. <laughs> no, these where is this from Vons? These donuts are terrible. <laughs> yeah. Talk tell talk about how you feel about the donuts. How do you feel about these donuts, Melissa? <laughs> Why can't I do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's okay. You can just you can eat the donut quietly in the mic. It's fine. <laughs> I hate this sound more than anything in the world. Mm -hmm. The whispering. I I hate listening to the whispering. It pisses me off. <laughs> it pisses me off so bad. Oh, I have tissue. I got chocolate all over your tissue. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. Oh my goodness. <laughs>